Hello again, it's Mrs. B. I am back on day 33 of the, the new 90-day carnivore challenge. Um, I want to tell you, I was going to go on the 48-hour fast. I didn't do it. I was hungry last night, so I just went ahead and ate. I had uh, hamburger patties with some cheese. Um, yeah, I just couldn't. I was just too hungry, and I, I'm not sure why, but I figured it doesn't matter. Um, I can do this how I want to do it. So, I may wait a week or so before I do another 48-hour fast. <clears throat> However, I am drinking my water. I get plenty of salt. Uh, someone mentioned in the comments that they just could not continue. They did a 30-day <clears throat> challenge and just could not do it anymore. They were done with it. Evidently, they had, you know, lots of headaches and fatigue and I uh, can't remember what else, but just the keto flu. I have to admit, I have not had to experience that. I don't know why. I don't know what I've done different. Or maybe my body is just different. Which, you know, we do know that. Just like um, Auntie and I, I can take the gamma, gamma pentin and not have any. I take it three times a day and it has no adverse effects as far as making me sleepy goes. And Auntie can't even take one one time a day, a 100 milligram, and mine a 300 milligram, and I take three of them a day, and she can't take one. So our bodies are just different, <clears throat> and that's why there's, there is no one size fits all for anyone about anything. So um, anyway, back to that. I am not going to do the 48-hour fast for another week or so. And I still am not having any adverse effects from eating carnivore. Um, I know there is some debate in there whether or not dairy should be allowed. It is animal. Therefore, that is why I go ahead and have the cheese. I have not incorporated any um, sour cream and I have heard in some of the recipes some of the people use sour sour cream I think that would be nice uh, I cannot remember the lady's name and she's in Australia I believe and she did that I've, I've shared a link to her before in in the comments uh, and I know she, I watched her do a video yesterday of stroganoff, beef stroganoff. And she used sour cream and she used eggs and hamburger meat. She might have used beef broth. I am not real sure on that one. And I thought, you know, that might be a good change. Uh, flavor. I like steak. I love steak, but I get tired of it pretty quick. I get tired of hamburger meat pretty quick. I don't normally get tired of chicken. And, of course, on the carnivore, the only chicken I've eaten are uh, chicken thighs. And I just love them baked in the oven for a hundred for at 400 degrees for an hour. They're just my favorite with the skin on. And oh my gosh, I love that. In fact, if I have any chicken, I might do that tonight. However, I still have that steak and that salmon. So I need to go ahead and get that eaten so it doesn't go bad on me. So I'll probably do that tonight and then have the, the chicken tomorrow. I... um. I'm getting, I started to say I'm getting 
good rest. I am not getting good rest. Last night was one of the harder nights that I've had, but I don't believe it is anything to do with the carnivore. It is back to my back and my hips again and my legs. Um, I just don't know how much benefit the steroid shot was in my spine. And I want to do everything I can to keep from having any surgery. Now, that yawn is probably because I'm tired. Now, I stayed in bed late for me, uh, but I just was in a lot of pain tossing and turning last night. And then I actually even was a little nauseous. So I don't know if I ate too late or what. It seems to be one of the problems when I have my meal too late in the evening. Um, I was wa watching Dr. Ken Berry on a video. It may be a few days old. It may be a month old. I can't remember. But it's called Depression Treatment Ignored by Your Doctor. And I'm going to put a link to that down below in the in the uh, description. <clears throat> I was watching another video because I watch a lot of videos uh, when I'm sewing. I have the videos playing in to the side of me, and I'll look at them once in a while. But mostly, I just listen. But this particular video I was watching was a younger girl, pretty young. I think she's probably in her 20s. I don't know. <clears throat> and she has had a weight problem all her life. <clears throat> well, I didn't have a weight problem all my life. In fact, it wasn't until my fourth child was two to four years old when I started gaining weight. And, you know, it creeps up on you little by little. And then, you know, before too long, I'm this full-size woman. I didn't get over 200 pounds until... Oh my goodness, I was probably in my 40s. So I've been, actually it wasn't even then, it's probably like 45 or 50. Had a little bit of an interruption there. I uh, don't even remember where I was in what I was saying. I know I was talking about um, not gaining weight until I was 45 or 50. And I don't think that's... I had gained some weight, but I didn't get over 200 pounds until then. And um, I remember being 207 and being devastated. And I went to... Uh, a diet center type place. It was actually metabolic re. Gosh, what? Metabolic research center, and I lost a lot of weight and did good, but it was so expensive. And then got to where I couldn't afford it anymore, and then I just started eating the way I ate before. And there you go. I just kept kept gaining, kept gaining, and. Uh, but where I was going with this is this young lady was talking about how it had always hurt her and her little niece or nephew, somebody told her the other day that she had this um, little stuffed animal and she loved that stuffed animal. It was, it was fat like her. And she said that used to, that would have just devastated her. But now, it's like, you're right, I am fat. But you know what? I'm just as good as anybody else. So, it made me think. 
I have always been aware of my weight. Even when I was young, <clears throat> when I was young, my friends were smaller than me, but I wasn't overweight. I was still slender. I was very slender, but I wasn't skinny. And my friends, for some reason or another, especially my best friend, she was, a, you know, like a stick, a little, little tiny thing. And I have always had curves. I remember we've been we've been friends since the third grade we don't live anywhere close together we don't talk hardly ever I did actually get to text with her yesterday it was her birthday and I wished her happy birthday and so we kind of uh, communicated back and forth but I remember when I was young and she would give me hand me down because I, she's a year older than me, and I was at this time smaller than her. Well, the next year, I'm giving her clothes because I developed so quickly, and my body changed. I mean, when I was 14, I looked like I was 18. Not always a good thing, but as a young girl, I, I liked that. And then when I got older, <clears throat> I looked young for my age. Now I think I look my age. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But anyway, I was always uh, conscious of my weight. <clears throat> when I wasn't with my friends that were smaller than me, I didn't feel like I was overweight. When I was with my friends, I always felt like I was overweight. I was big and overweight. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I ended up getting married very young. In fact, I met my husband when I was 14. <clears throat> we got married the day after I turned 15. And we've been together ever since. And I thought I was big back then and I thought I was big after having my children and I wasn't oh my gosh I have a little skirt well it's a little skirt in fact I may have told you guys about it I actually it was what I had on the day I met my husband and he, he saved it all these years it wasn't me that saved it it was him and my granddaughter saw it and loved it, and so I made her one just like it. And she is thin as a rail. And I'm like, and I thought I was big. I wasn't, was not big. But as, as time went by after uh, my second, no, my fourth child was born. So wait a minute, that was... I, went, I, I did I had a hysterectomy two years later I had my fourth child when I was before I turned 21 I had one at 15 one at 17 one at 19 and one at 20 almost 21 and I had my tubes tied and then two years later <clears throat> I had a hysterectomy. <clears throat> I didn't really start gaining a lot of weight for about four years after that, I think. And then, of course, I never went over the 200 mark until later in life. And I just never, except for on the Metabolic Research Center, oh, that's not true. I did that, and then I also did HCG drops, and both of those I dropped... Um, quite a bit of weight on and I was really proud of myself and the way the way I was looking but then I didn't I didn't stick with that way of eating and it just comes back plus so that's where I am but once again we beat ourselves up and I think it's so interesting how someone will say I hope that you've got such a pretty face yeah I know what that means oh but you're big boned I know what that means. 
and and I wear my heart on my sleeves. Uh, my feelings are hurt pretty easy. Not as much as they were in in the past, but but they they still get hurt pretty easy. But I think it, it's so interesting. No one needs to be told they're overweight. They know it. You want to tell me that somebody that's overweight doesn't know they're overweight? That's ridiculous. And we need support if we're trying to lose weight. And we're so, so interesting, people are. I, <clears throat> my husband is darned if he does and darned if he doesn't. If he, if he tries to give me what he thinks is motivation it's insulting and it makes me mad you know it's like he doesn't have any confidence in me well why would he have confidence in me I've never stuck with anything and and done well except for those two two diets but I um anyway he, he's I think he's kind of proud of me this time not for the weight loss so much as sticking to it he means well but I'm telling you yeah he's got to be careful what he says to me because I'm so bad <clears throat> um, but that that girl saying that she was still worth every bit as much as somebody else and that's another thing <clears throat> You know, just because someone has a college degree doesn't mean they're better than somebody else. They're just educated in a different way. There's a lot of people who cannot afford to go to college. But that doesn't make them beneath somebody else. Someone has a lot of money and somebody else doesn't. That doesn't make you beneath somebody else. We all, we're all different. So, I don't know why I'm getting on the, off on that tangent. <clears throat> <clears throat> but back to the depression. Um, they say, Dr. Barry says, a carnage, a keto diet will help the depression. But then I also hear that the carnivore diet helps even more with the depression. I am going to do an experiment. I am. I want to stay on this diet, this way of eating. But I am going to do an experiment and I'll let you know. I'll let you know tomorrow how it affects me. I'm actually I'll tell you tomorrow. I'll tell you tomorrow what I did. Um, what else? Today's been a rough day for me. I don't know. I think it's an accumulation of a lot of things. I think it was not sleeping well last night. And then this is the anniversary of losing our daughter. Um, that's that's always hard. I try not to dwell on it because I don't want to be depressed. And then I was also trying to pay all my bills and stuff. And oh my gosh, we don't have that many, but just utilities and insurance, a few doctor bills, you know, things like that. It is crazy. And I... I I don't like like it. it. It puts me in a bad mood. And then I had problems. I do a lot of it online. And, and I had problems getting into some websites. And oh, it was just, you know, one of those days already. And it's only 11.20 in the morning. Um, so today hasn't been the great. And I made a mistake. I paid, I paid something out of the wrong account. And... Uh, you know, just crazy, just crazy. I think 
I even told Andy, I said, I need to make my my uh, carnivore update. But do I dare all the mistakes I keep making today? And she says, yes, you dare. So here I am making it. I am going to try. If you notice, I don't know which side it's on yet. But if you notice, I have a different background today. What do you think of this? I think it's kind of big, but that is what we should be eating. Meat. Meat. Who would have ever thought? Meat. Um, what else? I think that's it for today. That is it for today. Day 33. Yeah, 33 of the 90 day. I've got a long ways to go for that 90, 90 days. Um, I'm still thinking it's going to be okay. Well, I guess I'm going to let you go and come back and see me tomorrow. Like, subscribe, and please comment and, and check in the um, comment, not comments, in the description for the link to Dr. Barry's video on, on depression. See you later. Bye.